Good morning, I'm Dr. Lakmali Amarasiri. I'm a senior lecturer in physiology from the Faculty of Medicine, University of Kalani. Um, I'm attending the World Health Summit as a young physician leader alumni. Um, my uh, concept of open access publications is that uh, as a member from a low middle income country, it is a very wide platform for us to achieve or access quite a wide array of publications, uh, which is quite useful for researchers. Uh, and uh, because we have very limited funding to engage in research, and as literature survey is a very important part of research, we generally come across a lot of problems when accessing enough publications um, to write up literature service. So having open access platforms such as these increases accessibility to uh, a wide range. It reaches out to the entire country. Um, the, so I um, thoroughly encourage and I'm extremely happy that these such platforms are available for countries such as ours. The only limited fact, limiting factor that I see is on the other hand that when you need to publish on these open access platforms there is quite a high publication fee and again as it is limited for we have limited funds for research and such activities. There will be a limitation in people, scientists from our countries publishing in these platforms. So that's the only limitation I see. But other than that, I'm quite, um, I think it's quite encouraging to scientists from developing countries uh, to have such platforms.